I'm going to be making a rocket today. I just need a bit of help. Today we've invited food scientist Dr. Stuart Farram hello. to demonstrate hello, hello. his version of the perfect poached egg. So you need a fresh egg, yeah. fresh egg, room temperature egg, because if you have a cold egg and you put it in, lowers the temperature of the water and so it takes <laughs> longer. Me. Historically, it seems to be in the 1700s when they had biscuits on naval ships. This is probably the earliest instance of biscuit dunking and these things are rock hard. I've had them made up to oh. the original recipe. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can put a force of over 200 kilograms on and they will not break. Come on, help me. Oh, grab a leg. Okay, excellent. Grab, grab a leg. Are we ready to go outside? Yeah! How do you cook the perfect sausage? Very good question. We're going to put them to the test. Cherry, first off, we're going to do a long, slow fry for 25 minutes. And is there a trick to it? Plenty of oil. Keep it turning. Don't let it go black. Well, the science behind how a fly evades your swatting attempts is fascinating. And flies are incredible little creatures. They flap their wings at 200 times a second and they have a reaction time that is 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, which is equivalent to a Bugatti Veyron. Um, just got back off a holiday from, from Crete and we went there before um, the schools had broken up but there were lots of, lots of Dutch families there and in the evening um, the families were out and they were playing board games and it was such a, a lovely atmosphere that you wouldn't get with, with your smartphone. Is there a doctor in the house? Yes, there is, thank heaven. Dr Stuart Farrimon. Good morning, Stu. Good morning, Chris. Great book. All right, Dr Stu, I'm with you all the way, apart from the fact that you're with Nigella on the tea strainer I poached know. egg thing. I don't get that. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Oh, go on, try and convince me. you got a minute. Here is the trick. None of the celebrity chefs have got this. <laughs> That's fine. So don't listen to Gordon. Do not do a rolling <laughs> boil. Because a rolling boil with all the bubbles, it'll knock it around, go everywhere, and you'll get super-duper stringy bits, and it'll look nasty. <laughs> The key difference is that the long grain rices, they're firmer when you cook them than the short grain rices, mm -hmm. and that's because the starches that are in them. So okay. either sticky starch or firm starch. So they've all got starch in them, but they're different types of starch. You've got it. Different types of starch. That means short grain rice is better for risottos, puddings and sticky rice, whereas long grains should hold together as separate grains. Holding breath. <laughs> breath not cooked. Mm. See, I've been cooking rice like this for years, and my mum does it the same way, and so does my grandma. Mm -hmm. So the fact that my method works, and now I've got scientific backing, means that I can say, hey, hold on, I know it works. Mm -hmm. And even a simple science guy who isn't a chef can produce good rice. Exactly. It's not that complicated. Easy peasy. Easy peasy.